Good evening and welcome to Senior Recognition Night for the Class of 2022. 
My name is Susana Garcia, and I serve as the assistant head of school. This event is the first in a series of events held to specifically honor our graduating seniors. That's right, you can clap. <laughs> As we begin, I would like to thank the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur that sponsor our learning community, my incredible colleagues that serve our students and mission every day, and our families at home who are in partnership in this Notre Dame education. As we gather in this space today, and later in the cathedral for our baccalaureate mass, as well as Pardini Park for our graduation, we also would like to honor and acknowledge a larger and important history as well. What is now downtown San Jose, as we know it, is built on the land of the Muwekma Ohlone. As a learning community, we recognize the harm that local and federal institutions, including our own Catholic Church, have had on indigenous people, and we want to intentionally recognize this as we begin. We know that we cannot right historical wrongs, but we can prevent the erasure of diverse voices and we can hold a space of recognition for what was, what is right now, and what is yet to come. So let us hold both awareness for all that has come before us and for celebration in this space right now, here today together. It is with a spirit of celebration and joy that I also invite my co-MC, your class president, to join me at the podium. <laughs> Wait, cheer a little bit more. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Hello, my name is Amina Atedas, and I'm the president of the class of 2022 and will be an MC for this, evening, uh, this evening's event alongside Ms. Garcia. The Senior Recognition Night is a time for us to gather as a class to celebrate our individual and class accomplishments. During these years together, we have been growing as lifelong learners, spiritual seekers, justice advocates, and community leaders. This program will recognize that journey. And at this time, I would like to explicitly welcome our families and friends who are viewing the streaming of the celebration in their own homes across the country. You have been an important part of our journey. So even as we gather to be celebrated, we would also like to take a moment to celebrate and recognize you, our family and friends. I invite my classmates to join me in a moment of applause as a gesture of our appreciation and love for so many years of support. Next, I invite Louis Vuitton, a senior member of the peer ministry leadership team to the podium to lead us in prayer and reflection. Let us pray. God of goodness, tonight you gather us here to celebrate the accomplishments and impact of our class. You have guided us for the past four years. On that journey, you brought us many challenges to test our strength. On that journey, you gave us the skills to learn, seek, advocate, and lead. With our classmates, our families, our teachers, mentors, and coaches, you send us reminders of your love and strength, which we hold in our hearts dearly. For all this, we give thanks for your goodness, guidance, and blessings. We pray this in the name of Jesus, your son, as we walk with Mary, St. Julie, and all holy women and men. Together we say, amen.
Thank you, Louie. Now I would like to introduce our head of school, Ms. Mary Beth Riley. Thank you. Um, welcome, class of 2022 seniors. Welcome, families, friends, um, people who are out there. Hello, everybody wave at them. They're out there somewhere. Thank you. Uh, class of 2022 seniors, we honor you tonight as a class. We honor each one of you individually and as a collective group, the class of 2022 Notre Dame High School. Over your four years, you have stood together. You started together in that corner of the gym and stood together, and then you sat alone in your homes, on remote kitchens, bedrooms, backyards. Although the circumstances were unexpected, the strong results are undeniable. Each of you has been successful, and each one of you has a plan for your life beyond Notre Dame, and it's a good one, and you're ready for it. As a class, you have been incredibly resilient, mending the gaps of a year and a quarter of separation and loss. You returned to our campus as seniors, and you led this school this year with intentionality and verve. You helped us right wrongs. You helped us move into a relevant future, and you helped us embrace community anew. And I told this to you at the end of Spirit Week after watching you. I sent you an email to express that to you. After watching you storm into rallies, cheer with vigor, intensely play games, and create an unparalleled theme in gym decorations and dance your hearts out, throughout the year I have seen that, not just for that week, but throughout this entire year, how you have taken up the mantle of showing the other classes here how to be Notre Dame, how to be Notre Dame with spirit, care, dignity, and strength. Your collective generous spirit and leadership this year especially is a gift to us, and we recognize that. Not every school has a senior class like you, and we know that. And we're very, very aware of that and what you bring to us. So we're grateful for you, and tonight we're happy to be able to honor you as a class and when you walk away on June 4th, we will miss you. Congratulations, seniors, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Riley. As a class, we have been on a journey for these four years, and we also know that our journey began long before that. Let us take a moment to watch that journey unfold for each of us.
Thank you to Kylie, Gabby, and Sam from Senior Class Council. <laughs> for making that montage of photos to celebrate our journey. We continue with this recognition of our senior class by acknowledging our class ac accomplishments, our collective participation, as well as individual awards received. I invite Ms. Garcia to return to the podium. You're gonna exit this way, okay? Thank you, Amina. I'm now privileged to begin our presentation of Notre Dame High School's awards and honors for the class of 2022. We begin with the National Merit Scholarship Program, which recognizes students' academic achievement for their performance on the PSAT. This... <laughs> This year, three students are recognized as National Merit Finalists. Please come to the stage to receive your certificates and be recognized for your achievement. So that's Lilia Newberry. That's Kartika Santoso. Polly Butta. The California Scholarship Federation honors senior lifetime members with cords for their ach academic achievements and service. I now invite the 62 lifetime CSF members from our graduating class to please stand and be recognized. <laughs> You can sit back down. <laughs> this year, 78 seniors are recognized as members of the National Honor Society. Their NHS cords recognize their commitment to scholarship, service, leadership, and character. I now invite our graduating NHS members to stand and be recognized. The National Honor Society recently contacted Notre Dame to share that one member of our NHS chapter has been selected as an NHS scholarship semifinalist and will receive a scholarship award in the amount of $3,200. We are proud to acknowledge Christine Passion as a scholarship recipient. Christine, stand, be recognized. <laughs> and now I invite my colleague, Aaron De Silva, to the podium to present academic awards. Hi, seniors. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that everyone knows I'm here representing a whole body of teachers who love you very much and are very proud of you. So some of them are here, some of them are at home. Hi, teachers at home. I'm happy to represent you. Each year, academic medals are given to a graduating senior whose academic achievement and efforts are particularly significant in, an, in a specific area of study. Moreover, these students exhibit passion and deep intellectual curiosity in the subject matter. Ms. Riley will present the academic medals to our honorees here on stage. The English medal this year is awarded to Jocelyn Swift.
Congratulations, Jocelyn. Receiving the Mathematic Mathematics Medal this year is Rupali Bhatta. Congratulations, Rupali. The Modern Language Department awards department medals for achievement in Spanish, French, and Chinese. Receiving the Spanish Language Medal this year is Kayleen Grace. The French Language Medal is awarded to Evgenia Anastasios. Miss Riley's a French teacher, so she was doing a little chatting with her. <laughs> Receiving the Chinese Language Medal this year is Julie Wang. The Religious Studies Department Medal is awarded to Bethany Oliveira. Science designates two medals, one medal for achievement in the physical sciences and a second for achievement in the life sciences. Receiving the physical science medal this year is Yushoshi Basamalik. The Life Sciences Medal is awarded to Samantha Boucher. Social, st social Studies similarly awards two medals, one for achievement in the social sciences and the second for achievement in the study of history. Receiving the Social Studies Achievement Medal this year is Malia Hernandez. This year, the History Medal is awarded to Christine Passion. And in the area of visual arts, two medals, medals are also given, one for 2D studio art and another for 3D studio art. Receiving the 2D studio art medal this year is Yana Puri. <laughs> Thank you.
Receiving the Visual Arts Medal in 3D, 3D Studio this year is Ileana Allison. <laughs> There are two areas of publications and both award medals. Receiving the yearbook medal this year is Bella Baker. The Journalism Medal this year is awarded to Tiana Kwan. <laughs> Congratulations to all these honorees. I invite Ms. Garcia back to the stadium. Okay, uh, next we would like to celebrate students for co-curricular contributions and achievement. I would like to introduce John Bracco to deliver those awards. Thank you. My name is John Bracco and I am very honored to recognize students who participated in co-curricular programs over this these past four years, as though as, as well as those receiving co-curricular program medals. And Ms. Riley will pass out those medals. Uh, as soon as I call your name, please come up. First, in the area of athletics, 91 members of this class have participated in at least one season over the past four years in athletics. <laughs> that that translates into over 1,500 hours of official practices and yielded a total of 30 WBAL All-League awards earned by the class and 13 teams which made it to the CCF playoffs. So congratulations, student athletes. So would all the seniors who participated in athletics program over the past four years please stand and be recognized for your commitment. You may be. There are two program medals given to seniors for their impact on the athletics program. Receiving the Scholar Athlete Award is Samantha Boucher. No, I don't think it's. it's uh, is it up there? I'll, I'll, I'll say it will be there, yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the most valuable athlete is awarded to Perry Durbin. And their names will be affixed to the plaque to my right here. So we ask everyone to come back and visit and look at their names on the wall there. It's great. Next area is campus ministry. At Notre Dame, all students participate in campus ministry program throughout liturgy, through liturgies, retreats, and community service. As a class, the Raptors have completed over 15,000 15, hours of community service. That's a, and have uh, completed over, um, and have experienced 26 liturgies over their four years. At this time, <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> 
At this time, I would like to acknowledge student leadership in campus ministry, specifically those who served on the peer ministry leadership team, task justice leaders, task service, campus ministry homeroom reps, the Notre Dame Global Ed Forum, liturgical ministers, and retreat leaders. Please stand and be recognized for your contributions. Thank you. The Campus Ministry Program Medal is awarded to two students, Isabella Lopez. Oh, and <laughs> I was waiting. And Marisol, Marisol Lopez. Congratulations. Our next area, performing arts. Participation in the performing arts is an incredible commitment that involves many students. More than 30% of our student body participated in the spring musical this year. And in the dance program, the Regent Collective Dance Company students will perform or have performed in at least 16 performances and in up to 120 pieces over their past four years. And this year alone, students in the vocal and instrumental music program performed 21 times at venues on and off campus. Will all of our performing arts students who have participated in any part of the program over these past four years please stand and be recognized? Thank you. The International Thespian Society was established in 1929 to advance the excellence in theater arts. Two seniors received International Thespian Society honor cords to wear at graduation. Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. And I believe we have seniors that were recognized for Trium in uh, the Music Honor Society. If you have a pink cord, please stand. Thank you. There are two medals in performing arts, one in music and one in technical theater. Receiving the performing arts medals in music and technical theater are Emma Liang and Aliyah. <laughs> and Aliyah Dowd, Dowd. Aliyah Dowd. Congratulations, Emma. Thank you. Thanks for the lights. <laughs> okay. Robotics. Are we ready, robotics? Over these uh, four years, members of the robotics team built three robots committed 8,710 cumulative hours of building, testing, breaking, and building again. Would all seniors who participated in the robotics program please stand and be recognized for your commitment to the Janksers. Thank you. This year, the Robotics Medal is presented to Tiffany Nguyen. Congratulations, Tiffany. In the area of speech and debate, every year speech and debate students spend countless hours preparing to compete in over 30 competitions across 15 different event formats, sacrificing almost every weekend to hone their public speaking, argumentation, and communication skills. 
I would like all seniors who participated in speech and debate to please stand and be recognized. And eight seniors have qualified as members of the National Speech and Debate Honors Association, I'm sorry, Honors Society, and they receive cords of this association. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> the Speech and Debate Program Medal is awarded to two seniors this year. Amira Tuktai and Redima Prashant. And Redima Prashant. I guess it marries. Okay. And finally, in the area of student leadership, I would like to acknowledge the leadership of students who have contributed to Notre Dame through their outstanding service to the school community. Will those students who have served in elected positions through ASV and selected leadership positions from ambassadors to student leadership groups please stand? Congratulations. That's quite a testimony to the number of leaders in this class. Congratulations. Okay. I'm going to turn it back over to Ms. Garcia. Thank you, Mr. Bracco. <laughs> um, I was particularly impressed with how many people stand at different points. And it, at Notre Dame, it's really important to be a good student, lifelong learners. That's one of our graduation outcomes. And all of y'all also show up in the places that are important to you and your skill and your leadership. So let's just do one more big round of applause to recognize that in each other. Okay. And I would like to invite our head of school, Mary Beth Riley, to the podium for our remaining set of awards. Thank you. Each year, there are some students who receive special recognition and awards for their impact in the community. In collaboration between the White House and AmeriCorps in recognition of volunteer service to strengthen our nation and community, the President's Volunteer Service Gold Award was presented to Aru Rastogi. Please come forward to receive your certificate and letter from the President of the United States, Joe Biden. Congratulations, Aru. I want to recognize three students who are receiving um, a faculty staff scholarship um, that was uh, the faculty raises money every year to honor students and help them on their way to college and university. And this year, the faculty is proud to uh, present these scholarships to Alma Martinez, Krista Quinones, and Ann. Wait, 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 <laughs> and, and, and also, and also, excuse me, thank you, and also Angela, Angelus Torres, thank you. Values of our co foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, St. Julie Billiard, and Francoise Blanc de Bourdon. 
These Founders Awards were first presented to, to our seniors when they were in middle school, and these students have continued to demonstrate their commitment to these values throughout high school. St. Julie Billiard was an avid student and gifted teacher. This year, 13 seniors are honored as, Saint, as Julie Billiard scholars for the high level of academic excellence over four years. JB scholars, please stand and be recognized for your academic accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Francoise Bland de Bourdon was a woman whose leadership was marked by her Catholic faith, social influence, and desire to serve. This year, seven students are honored as Francoise Leadership Award recipients for consistent leadership and service over four years. Please now stand and be recognized. Thank you, thank you. Both St. Julie and Francoise were committed to giving young women access to opportunities otherwise not available to them, recognizing the potential that all young people hold. We continue that legacy and proudly recognize the cohort of 19 students in our senior class that will be first generation in their families to go to college. Students who have participate, participated in the FIRST Scholars Program this year, please stand and be celebrated. <laughs> Congratulations. One of the hallmarks of a Notre Dame learning community is the celebration of diversity. This year we recognize the unique journeys of students with stoles that acknowledge the communal and ancestral legacy that precedes the individual graduate. All of those wearing these stoles, I invite you to now stand and be recognized. Thank you, thank you. Next, we call attention to awards that highlight our school's unique mission and commitment to women's leadership. The 2022 Head of School Leadership Award is given to a student who has committed herself to leadership from her first day on campus. Her devotion to her classmates and school is unwavering. She is compassionate, strong, and supportive. I am honored to recognize a fellow leader, Juman Bayati. Please come forward to receive him. Sister Margaret Hoffman was a sister of Notre Dame de Namur who taught here on our, at our San Jose campus. Her name became synonymous with the social justice commitment of the sisters across the United States. She passed away last year. The Margaret Hoffman Sister of Notre Dame de Namur Woman of Service Award is given to an outstanding senior who demonstrates a consistent record of significant community service who engages in leadership and becomes a justice advocate. This year's Margaret Hoffman Woman of Service Award goes to Rapali Bata. Rupali's name will sit with other awardees on, on this plaque that is in the alum room 
And so when you all come back to visit campus, you can visit that there. Thank you. The Julie Billiard Award is the most prestigious non-academic award given at Notre Dame. The recipient is chosen by her classmates as one who exemplifies the following. A respect and appreciation for other individuals and their culture, an active and compassionate respect towards self and others, someone who has helped her peers strengthen their relationship with God and help develop their self-esteem. This person has nurtured friendship and has helped students grow in their ability to work with others and serve both the Notre Dame and their community. She has herself been of service both to Notre Dame and to the wider community. This year, the Julie, Bill Julie Billiard Award is presented to Tiana Kwan, who's <laughs> will deliver the salutatory address at your commencement exercise on June 4th and congratulations again. The criteria for graduating with highest academic honors includes the following. A minimum GPA of 4.4 weighted in academic courses and then an accumulated number of honors and advanced placement classes. 53 seniors are receiving this designation. Each student received a medal that signified this academic achievement, and we hope they're wearing it tonight. Will all of you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Congratulations. All of these students were invited to prepare a valedictory speech to be delivered at graduation, and they presented it, those who chose to, to a, the scholarship committee, and one student was chosen to deliver the valedictory address. That student is Christine Passion. And Christine. Christine will deliver that address at graduation and we look forward to it. Both Tia and Christine's names will also sit on plaques that will be in the alum room um, to represent your class uh, for the legacy of uh, our high school. So thank you all so very much and I'm going to return it to Ms. Garcia. Congratulations, class of 2022. We would like to close the formal part of this event with our traditional singing of the alma mater. So I now, you're gonna do it together as a class, it's gonna be beautiful. I now invite your class council officers to come forward and lead the singing of the alma mater. Please stand. And everyone else, please stand for the singing of the alma mater. <laughs> <laughs> 